A dry hydrant, in essence, is just an extension of your hard suction hose into a static water source. Static water sources can include natural or man-made reservoirs of water. Another definition for dry hydrants, or another term used for dry hydrants, could be a drafting hydrant, because this, in essence, what it truly is, is a point from which to draft. Some natural sources where we might find dry hydrants installed include ponds, lakes, streams, rivers, or the sea and ocean. These are all natural bodies of water where we find them, and man-made sources include some retention ponds, underground cisterns, and also above-ground tanks. The installation procedure for putting dry hydrant systems in vary from manufacturer to manufacturer and also varies depending on the water source, the static water source that's being utilized. As you can see here we have a static water source that's man-made, a cistern system, and also uh, it depends on exactly the depth and the location of the piping from the water source to the edge of the roadway where the truck will be parked. Here we'll see a little short video clip of how an actual dry hydrant is installed. Once the location for the dry hydrant is determined, a backhoe is utilized to dig the trench necessary for installation. Chief Steve Dennis of the Tallahassee and Friendship Fire Department points out necessary guidelines used in installing dry hydrants. The Schlumberger dry hydrant is designed using a bronze threaded intake and stainless steel hardware. A removable second strainer is available in either a flat or conical design. The submerged intake strainer contains 1,000 3 8 inch holes, providing more than a 4 to 1 intake ratio and a unique stainless steel support bracket allows easy underwater installation at any depth. We would ever be pulling. The vertical riser is cut off approximately 24 inches above the ground and the dry hydrant head is submitted to the vertical riser. Now that the dry hydrant is assembled, the trench is backfilled, securing the dry hydrant in place. A flow test should now be performed to ensure proper installation of the dry hydrant. And the demonstration clearly shows the advantages of these hydrants for rural fire departments and property owners are tremendous. Now let's take a look at a few different style installations of dry hydrants. In the next slide we'll see the installation at Hayes Road here at Waste Management. And this one is located across the street from Station 20 at Seneca Air Conditioning. It's drafting out of an old swimming pool. And finally we have the one located on a cistern system behind Discount Auto Parts on County Line Road. As you can see, dry hydrants have different shapes, sizes, but they all accomplish the same feat of drafting from a static water source.